Hey everybody, this is Rudy. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure to click the like button if you want to see more videos like this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Also, you can check out our podcast. It's called Groomer Humor. You'll find that, all our social media, and recommended grooming tool links in the description below. In this week's video, we are featuring the lovely mixed breed Noel. The purpose of this video is to show you guys how important it is to brush and prep your dogs prior to the bath. As you can see, Noelle's coat has some knots, some dirt, and debris. We're going to work on getting all that out prior to the bath. Noelle is an absolute cutie. We're starting on her back and we're using a universal slicker brush on her. We're going to do a little bit of a comb test here, guys. This is going to tell us if we're doing a good job brushing. As you can see, there's a little snag there. So we're going to work our slicker brush into that a little bit more and get that knot out. Let's do a comb test again. And you can see the comb going right through. We want to get all these knots out prior to the bath because a little knot like this, if it's saturated in the tub, will turn into a mat very quickly. We're doing a comb test on her back here. We're just going to work her back legs, upper torso, and her front legs, and we're going to save her head for last. I'm getting underneath her and the inside part of her legs. Let's not forget the tail. And just in that little bit of brushing, we already got all of this undercoat out. We're working underneath her neck now and her chest area. and right down her front legs. Be sure to get the armpit area. What this is also going to do is going to stimulate the skin, guys. This way, if there's any debris laying down on the skin, we're going to scrape that debris up and we're going to wash it away in the tub. By doing it this way, we're going to avoid matting. If you just took her and put her in the tub, she would mat up very, very quickly and you wouldn't be able to get this out after the bath. Little comb test again. If you see any redness, there's a good chance that your dog is biting that area. Just inspect that area thoroughly. There may be a growth there that she's trying to bite at. So just make sure that you're not brushing that growth with the slicker brush and causing any pain or opening up the growth. A 
almost done with this brush out. We did her back legs, her torso, her front legs. And now we're just going to focus on her head. Just brushing Noelle's face, top of her head. You want to be really, really careful here not to get the corner of the brush into the eye. We're doing the ears here. I'm just positioning Noelle so that I can safely brush her face. Again, watch the eyes. Just lifting the ear, getting behind the ear. Noelle comes to us once a month, guys, so she's never really in that bad of shape. And part of the reason for that is what we're doing right now. This is the before shot. We haven't even bathed her yet. And this is her after, and this is just the brush out. So we wanna get all that knotting out. This is gonna make for a really good bath and a really good blow dry and a really good finish in the end. Noelle is in the tub now. Anthony's given Noelle a real good thorough bath and now we can work that soap right down to her skin so that it really really cleans her up well. It's also going to make for a good rinsing too. Getting that gook out under the eyes. Noelle is our sweetheart. We love this dog. Giving her a quick towel dry, and we're going to get her ready for the blow dry. Okay, and we're on to the blow dry. Guys, this is going to make the blow dry real easy because we've done all of the work with the prep, and we've gotten all of the knots out. So now that she's not free, that brush is going to go right through her. And during the brush out, you're going to get any stragglies that you didn't get in the prep. So again, just a lot of brushing. And we're back onto the finishing table now, guys. We're doing another comb test, just making sure we got all of the tangles and knots out. Now we can use the finer edge of that comb and get that through. And you want to follow this when you're doing your dog at home too. So anybody who's working on their dog at home, this is going to be useful to you. And it'll be much easier when you bring your dog to the groomer because you won't be bringing your dog to the groomer full of knots.
here's Noel's before. And here's her cute little self after. Okay guys, again, the purpose of this video was to really show you how important it is to prep and brush out your dog prior to the bath so that you can avoid matting and knotting in the future and get a really nice finish in the end. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button if you want to see more videos like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.